You want me to come back and help you? Well, it's hard to believe, but a full year had passed since Kyle and I got married on May 6, 2016. To celebrate our first year anniversary, we decided to go for a sunrise kayak trip on Mustang Island. We packed the car the night before, and early Saturday morning, we got up, got dressed, and got in the car and drove to the coast. Two and a half hours later, we were greeted with the most beautiful sunrise on the water. It was a perfectly calm day and the birds were flying all over. This particular place where we decided to put in to go kayaking was called Wilson's Cut. It's located on Mustang Island, which happens to be a barrier island for the mainland of Texas. It's also where Port Aransas and Rockport are located, some larger cities that we like to go hang out in too. Wilson's Cut is also where Kyle and his fishing buddies like to go when they come early in the morning to go fishing. That's part of the reason why we decided to do this for our anniversary. Kyle would go fishing on these early morning expeditions with all of his guy friends and come back with amazing stories about the sunrise and the wildlife and fish jumping everywhere and birds so close you could reach out and touch them in your kayak. He said, you absolutely have to see it, you would love it. So when we were trying to plan what to do for our anniversary, do we go to hill country or do we go to the coast? What should we do? We decided to come and see the sunrise together. Wilson's Cut is a canal that allows access to Corpus Christi Bay from the Mustang Island side. It's only about a quarter of a mile long and took us about 20 to 30 minutes to paddle the whole length. But along the way we made little detours into the mangroves that bordered either side of the cut. The mangroves provide excellent habitat for numerous types of birds and we were able to see up close several species of herons, storks, sandpipers, pelicans, and maybe even a scarlet ibis. We're still not sure. In the shallows between the mangroves, it's only about six inches of water, and in there a type of seagrass grows that serves as a sort of fish nursery. These areas were hard to paddle through, but rewarded us with lots of jumping fish, some of which were a little adventurous and almost jumped straight across the nose of the kayaks. In Ian Fleming's Dr. No, James Bond goes to an island and battles the evil villain on what I can only guess is an island that looks and smells and sounds similar to this. We're not really sure what it was, but it probably has something to do with the oil refineries all around Corpus Christi Bay.
Needless to say, it didn't sound or smell very nice here. So we paddled a little further along and we stopped at a nice sandy beach to look for shells and other little sea creatures. I just stepped in a bunch of shells, like shell fragments. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Don't step in the shells. They hurt. Yeah. The last time we were on that island, it was shell You were like this. on the, that, that island over there? Not where he's at, not beyond that one. The other one. Okay. The other first spot and stuff. Yeah. And there's a lemon shark over there. What? That's so cool. This is all. <sighs> How do you do the stingray shuffle? Mm, the water's nice and warm. What'd you find? Ooh. Oh, it's, um, oh, he's alive. Oh my gosh, I've never seen, I mean, um, no, oh, what kind of, it's a, no, wait, let me look. Yeah, it's a seashell. Oh, I can't remember what kind, but he's in there. There's his foot. That's so cool. It's just like my mom has a collection of shells and where did you find them? Like in right here. So we just put them back. That's so cool. So cool. Yeah, I want to see crabs. Like are they big crabs? Bigger than the ones on the beach crabs? This big? Oh my gosh. Like to eat crabs? Well, the ones that you get at the bottom of the cut, those are like this big. How, how big? Like that big. Alright. Alright. So there's a bit, a bit of chop, but not, that guy's in a different kind of kayak than we are though. Where'd that sugar? I don't want to step on it. There's another guy. Ooh, it's a hermit crab. Should I try to get him? Oh, it's a it's a hermit crab. I kind of want to pick him up. I don't know if he'll come out. He's in there though. You see him? No. See his little. Oh yeah, he is in there. He's got... Wait, wait, wait. I'll put him back in the same spot. It's like you just went on vacation and now you're home. You might be upside down, but I think you can take care of that. So 
another guy. Huh. Hey there. You come out? We can chill. It's all spring. See if he comes back out. He's got his antenna out. He's like, oh, no, maybe. No, oh, he's gonna stay stuck up in there. Yeah, maybe we'll check him on the way back to the kayak. There's a lot of hermit crabs. Ooh. Uh, here's a little crab. He's tiny. After paddling a little further, we decided to check out this section of beach. The sand looked really clean, which is kind of a big deal for Corpus Christi Bay and the Gulf in general. We got out of our kayaks again and walked along for a little ways. After finding a few more hermit crabs, maybe some jellyfish, and seeing no dolphins unfortunately, we decided to go back to Wilson's Cut, paddle back to the car, and head to the Gulf. We decided to spend the rest of the morning at Mustang Island State Park. We needed to stop at the visitor center and renew our season pass anyway. At this beach, you can drive your car right onto the hard packed sand, unload the trunk, and sit on the beach for mm, free. It smells so salty back here. Alright, we're at Mustang Island on the Gulf Coast. There's a pelican right over there. A pelican! <laughs> Not quite as nice as Culebra, but what are you going to do? It's only two and a half hours away. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Yeah. But it's clean. Like the water's relatively clean. Don't you think? What? Yeah. It's slick. Tiny bit chilly. Seaweed. It's nice. Let's see, one oil rig way out there. Actually, you can you can see a lot more oil rigs in that direction than you can from Padre Island. There's like four, one, two, three, four, way out there. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't know what they are all exactly. They might have put more up. They might have put more up. I know. I got one of putting it on the uh, monkey mount, wrap it around the, the car somehow, or like that boat. Yeah. Do a time lapse of the wave. Yeah, we can do that. That's a good idea.
my gosh. What you trying, Kyle? That would have been an amazingly giant turtle. Unfortunately, it's uh, just a trash bag. I actually brought a plastic bag we could stuff all this trash in. Well, good on you, mate. There's a lot of plastic on this beach. There's a trash can down there. Hopefully it's big. The beach? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Half of a little sand dollar. You wanna go for a walk? Or nah? Let's see what time it is. Watching the sandpipers and pelicans on the shore was fun and all, but a bag of popcorn can only tide you over for so long. We realized we really needed to get going, and it was lunchtime. However, Kyle's find of this bag spurred on a full-on beach cleaning effort. We walked up and down the shore for about a half an hour, picking up probably about five pounds of plastic, ranging from this giant full-sized black trash bag to very tiny little flecks of plastic. It's really sad how much plastic is on our beaches. It's one of our pet peeves to not use single-use plastic anymore because it doesn't end up in the trash. It ends up here, on your beach. There are many things that come to mind when we think of Corpus Christi, Rockport, Aramis Pass, but probably the most exciting thing that comes to mind is redfish, pretty much fish in general. The area has excellent fishing, and whenever we're down here, we take advantage of restaurants that serve fresh caught fish. Our restaurant of choice when we're in Corpus Christi has to be Snoopy's. They have an excellent selection of fresh fried fish. And while we were there, Kyle had the brilliant idea to look up sailboats listed for sale in the area. He was able to make contact with a broker in Rockport, and later that afternoon we drove there to see two of the listed sailboats in the marina. It was terrific to finally get to set foot on a real 36-foot sailboat, one that we'd been looking at online for quite some time. While we're not ready to buy yet, it definitely solidified our dreams. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> this is my spot on the ferry. Submarine pads. There's two of them. Or three of them?
Well, before we knew it, the day was almost over, and it was time to start our two-hour drive back to San Antonio. It was really hard to believe that almost 13 hours before we had been on the water for sunrise, getting up at 3 a.m. and driving with your loved one, that's dedication.